Hi everyone! Hello! Welcome to this episode of Catching Up with Yoseka Stationery. So, so casual. casual! I hope everyone had a really nice week. We had a great week here at Yoseka in New York. Spring is here, the oh, weather right. is so nice, yeah. and I think it I think it shows, like, because everyone's just like in a better mood yes. around this time of the year. Yeah. <laughs> and certainly everyone who's like coming in the store is like happy and the days are longer yeah. so it's all it's all very good mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, this week we had a really fun sort of Yoseka event we had a little get-together little dinner a little dinner with um, just a few of us um, we had we included Soraya because Soraya is back from Canada like she's not back she's still here she hasn't left yet so we're just trying to soak up as much Soraya time as possible Yes. Um, so we had Sarai, Ashley, and Christine come over to our place, me and Neil, and they played with Jacob a little oh, bit. Yeah. Jacob's so yeah. cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Warms my heart. Okay, I just remembered that Ashley came from the dentist, so half of her face was no. <laughs> I had just gotten some cavities filled, which uh, it was. It was, it was it was a lot. It was the numbest I've ever been in like my whole life. So numb. And I couldn't feel anything and if I like smiled or like frowned or did anything, this whole side of my face just like did not move at all. Yeah. It was <laughs> Luckily, it kind of wore off by the time the food got there, right? So yeah, yeah. You were so able I was able to, to eat. eat. It was good. Yeah. I'm um, sure Jacob what? Thought it was interesting. Oh, like, yeah. No, he was <laughs> different he human. Just, yeah, he was like very entertained by all the attention that he was getting. Mm -hmm. um, and he had a very eventful night. He stayed way past his bedtime till 7 30. Oh my god. <laughs> and yeah, we had a really fun night. Mm -hmm. I think it was nice to get the whole gang back together. Of course, we missed um, Jane, who yeah. was actually away last week on a break. She took a little trip to Europe, and um, she's back this week, though, so we're really happy to have her, and she's actually here trying to, she's gonna come say hi to everyone, so, <laughs> Jane. <laughs> Yeah, obviously this is not my first time seeing Jane, um, yeah. but it, it is, um, I was just telling her earlier today that it is really nice to have her back. We missed you a lot last week. Where'd you go last week? Tell everyone. I went to Portugal. Yeah. I went to Lisbon and then I went to Lagos in the south. Yay. So How was cool. it? It was nice. Um, it was kind of, it was like my first like international trip in COVID. So there were a lot of like travel restrictions Ooh, yeah. and stuff to figure out. But once we were there, it was really nice and relaxing. Ooh, yeah, I would love to go on a trip. <laughs> um, well, we one of the reasons why I was really excited to invite Jane on this episode of Catching Up is because one of our projects this year um, that we've talked about before is that we are working on lots of like projects with all of our full time. So Ashley is working on a project with us and Christine's working on a project with us that we are all really excited to share with you. But Jane, um, Jane's project is the first to reach the finish line. <laughs> yes, it is here, it, it has arrived. Here. It has arrived. <laughs> Um, and would you like to show everyone? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we had the pleasure of collaborating with Lucky Risograph. Um, it's, it's a postcard that we made with them. I don't know if I should go closer to the yeah, camera. Yeah, show the back, show the back. <laughs> um, so it's actually a postcard and we also wanted it to serve a multi-purpose. Um, so the back has a grid that you can write on or you can also use it as um, a guide in your notebooks if you prefer blank or like even lined paper. It's got a nice little grid um, that can guide your handwriting. Yay! Um, it's so cute. It's it turned so out so cute. well. Yeah. So um, Winnie and Amanda at Lucky Risograph contributed their illustrations to the front and they're really cute. Um, we're really lucky to have their design input on this. Um, and you might recognize the photo if you've been in the store. It's actually a close-up of the museum shelf mm -hmm. that is in, tucked away in a corner of the shop. Yeah. Um, so we have some of our favorite elements from our store in this photo, actually, that Jane 
um, kind of put together for us and took this photo, but we have the embroidered loop that Soraya gifted me and Neil from like our first year of working together. And of course we have our Yoseka Origin pen in there. A lot of people who visit the store are like, can I buy this pen? And we're like, we're so sorry, you can't have it. <laughs> um, and yeah, lots of just like little relics and antiques that Neil and I have picked up along the way that really um, we like to like kind of look back on our time on in this season. Oh, that's right. These clips are, Neil was saying these clips are from Bernard, who was our neighbor in our uh, pop-up when we were with Brooklyn Flea and he was an antique dealer and he had he was like the nicest guy ever and we kind of haven't spoken to him in a while but he was just like always the he had the best stories because he's been doing antiques and stuff for like 30 or 40 years and he just would just like give he would always bring us treats and then one time he left us these like little clips and what is the material do you remember Bakelite Bakelite yes Basically. You know that? Well, yeah, it's a very famous uh, design material because it was really oh. revolutionary. Um, oh. At one point. Um, so I didn't know anything <laughs> about Bakelite. I didn't know anything. Really? Like, he taught me about Bakelite because um, I guess it was like all the rage at yeah, some point. Yeah, it was very popular. Which at one point. you yeah. know about, I guess. But yeah, so these are little clips made out of Bakelite. Um, yeah. So these postcards will be available in store at our shop in Greenpoint. Um, we are actually expecting, um, as part of a partner shop for travelers, we designed a stamp that um, kind of highlights our partner shop and its location. Um, so we are a partner shop in New York City. So I think, what was it, last year? Ashley helped us design a stamp yes. Yes. that yes. <laughs> was um, that highlighted Yoseka in New York City and then travelers put together this stamp for us and we're going to be expecting this stamp very soon. Um, it'll be one of the cool things that you can use in store um, and you can stamp it in your traveler's notebook and then you can take one of these postcards with you as well as a little souvenir of your visit to Yoseka, um, a traveler's partner shop and stamp on it if you'd like. So these will be available for that. Who knows? One <laughs> escaped. One yeah. escaped. It's okay. We have plenty. Um, but yeah, really excited to show it to all of you who come visit our store in the coming months. It's Jane so did such cute. a good job yeah. of designing it. Thanks, Jane. Thank you. So I'm so excited for people to come by and start picking these up. So. Yeah, you can ask Jane all about all about it also. The process. The process. Everything. Her artistic process. Putting these together. Okay. Bye Jane. Bye. Bye. I'm, I'm trying to Are you trying to oh, Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. I'll put it back up I thought you were trying to do a graceful exit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. An Irish exit. An Irish. Yeah, exactly. Like slinkle it. Okay. Bye. 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 <laughs> So that is a really exciting thing that we got to see this week. I think it's so cool. Yeah. It was really great. It turned out really good. Thank you. I'm really, really happy with it. And it was so wonderful to collaborate with Lucky Risograph on it. They are based out of New York in Brooklyn. Um, they're in Dumbo. We got to visit their offices. Amanda and Winnie came by and did a lot of like consultation with us and helped us with the design along the way. And then Winnie even dropped postcards off, like in-person delivery. Free shipping. <laughs> so thank you so much, Lucky Rizgraph. We love you guys and are excited to do more with you. Um, okay, what else? We added so much new stationery. Lots of new stationery. As always. Yeah. Um, we added the latest edition of the box stationery. Yep, hobby um, stationery box. box. Hobby stationery box. Wow, I just switched <laughs> the whole name around. Um, we added the Twisby pair, and it's in the swipe model. Mm -hmm. It's a very pear like green. nice pear green, it's perfect like a for spring. spring. Summer yeah, spring, spring summer. green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we also added these Leuchtturm. Leuchtturm. <laughs> I've been Ashley practicing. Just spent all morning practicing saying that name. How do you say it? Leuchtturm. 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 Yeah. So, and this is it's here. It's this, for anybody who's curious about what they look like. And I swear to God, every time I type this word, I type it with a different spelling. Yeah. So. <laughs> you leave that one T, leave that I really have to learn there. how to spell this. Leuchtturm. Leuchtturm? Yeah. yeah. Leuchtturm. 
bathroom. Uh, what else did we add? Um, we added the MD Codex mm -hmm. notebook journal in blank and dot grid. And I really like these. Um, the concept with these is that they have a little perforated edge at the bottom, which is really cool because you can decide how you're gonna um, tear off each bottom corner. Like some people I know use it to like track a certain thing mm -hmm. each day, or they just like tear it off at the end when they're finished writing to show like, I finished this page, done. And it's like so satisfying at the end. Oh, um, it's also, per I, I thought it would be pretty easy to like kind of flip to where you are if you keep tearing off the pages. Yeah. Yeah, because mm -hmm. is there a bookmark tassel for this one? Um, There's I no bookmark tassel. There is. Yeah. yeah. Cool. This is just like their regular MD journal, notebook journal. It's got the same paper, but it's double the thickness. Mm. So it's supposed to have one day um, one page for every single day of the year. So it's got 368 pages. You get a couple extra. Um, so you can write every single day and record a lot of things in here. Mm. And the name Codex actually oh. is, I know, this was so cool to me. Codex is like a term that's used for ancient manuscripts oh. that are on like bound pages of paper. So the binding on the side and your writing makes a codex in oh, ancient manuscript. Oh, that's but, where it's from. Yeah, that's cool. like the first edition of a book. So you're writing your own book. That's really good to know. Codex. And of course these also, you have the option of using those clear covers with them too, right? Yes. Like all of MD things have their clear covers too. So they have like that thicker clear cover. That's cool. Then we also added these um, P205 special editions, but these are called four Clena. Lina. I don't know how to say it, but they're these really pretty colors. Yes, yeah. I love these. The pastel like really gets me. And they're so pretty. They, they're they supposed to match the Pentel Energel Klenas. These are the Klenas. So yeah, the brown. Oh, did I just stab you? No, okay. no. You're, you're, you're. Brown and the brown, the white. And then you said this one reminds you of lemon sorbet. Lemon sorbet. And they after you said so that, yummy. I can't stop thinking about that. <laughs> Yeah, and then like the peachy one, which I feel like Soraya would love this. Yes. And then this like blue, blue one. I really like the blue one. What do they call this one? Jazz blue or classical? I don't remember. Um, but it's something fun. Nice blue. <laughs> yeah. Um, so these are really cool. They came out like a few years ago, but actually Niwa in our Inside My Pen Case series, she had one of these. And so Neil has been trying to track these down for months, ever since we did <laughs> the Inside My Pen Case. And yeah. we finally got them. So we're really excited to have these. Um, yeah, so that is probably all the stationery that we added, and I'm really excited to share a little bit about the hobby stationery box. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I'm, I don't read Japanese, but every time one of these comes, Neil and I always thumb through the pictures, and they always come with like, even if you can't read Japanese, it's always fun just to look at the pictures in these, um, and just kind of. I I all the it's like, it's like window shopping. Yeah, it's like window <laughs> you know? shopping. It's such a beautiful magazine. They put it together really well. And then in this one, they have this special feature on this door called the stationery station and it's new. It's located in Ginza. And um, oh boy. I would like to go there one day. Ashley, have you seen this yet? I haven't flipped seen it. through okay. a little bit of this. Um, I saw a couple of pens really caught my eye on there. But um, I can't read Japanese either, so I'm very much just letting my eyes taste a little bit. So like in this magazine, there's like a 10 page spread on the stationary station and like what their store looks like and it's simply beautiful. Um, <laughs> simply beautiful. And I would love to go there and just shop in there all day. Wow. Yeah, it's so, it looks like it's so big, but I don't actually know how big it is. And then for their opening, they actually made like all these special edition red pens with these big Japanese pilot, like companies like Sailor and Pilot. They have mm. the Vanishing Point, the Decimo. That's um, so nice. So yeah, I'm just looking at this and dreaming. Anyway, this is a fun issue for anybody who's curious. Definitely check it out. Nice. Right. And then for, 
our customer friend of the week, since it is springtime and we do have so many people visiting us these days, um, do we have any kind of outstanding yes. customers? Our customer friend of the week is Tommy. Tommy! So Tommy is like a longtime customer of ours and he'll come by the shop every now and then to visit us and say hi. Um, and this week he stopped by. Um, he was like riding his bike around because you know the weather was really nice this so weekend. Nice. Yeah. Um, so he stopped in and said hi and he's always great to like have a conversation with. Um, so we talked about biking since I, I bike as well and that was like really really fun. And yeah. This time he actually brought a pen to show me because we don't carry this um, line of pens. I think it's called a waterman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it was very pretty, like bright blue. He let me write with it, and so. Oh right, that's I really fun trying out yeah. some pens with him. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. Yeah, I always enjoy seeing Tommy. He's like so friendly, and he's probably gonna watch this YouTube video yeah. and comment. <laughs> so you know, I just love how supportive he is of Yoseka and you know the passion that he has for stationery. He uses a Hobonichi, mm -hmm. and I you know love anyone who's, who uses a Hobonichi. <laughs> um, so Tommy, thank you so much for visiting us this weekend and always commenting and you know leaving us a little little happiness in, yeah. in the comments wherever we go. Mm -hmm. yes. A little snippet of encouragement yes. or joy. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we, we'll, I'm sure we'll see you again also this summer, Tommy. But thank you for visiting us again. Okay, well that's about it for this episode of Catching Up. Thank you everyone for tuning in and hope you kind of got to learn a little bit about the stationery that we added. Um, let us know in the comments what your new favorite is. Yeah. Yeah. Happy spring. Bye. Bye.